The Generosity dropped a new video, catfishing. Now, I've never been catfishing in my life, but I know some of you have. So let's see what he's talking about, man. Love. A special connection of affection between two beings. Mm -hmm, These connections mm -hmm. can be had in many ways. Between mom and child, pet and owner, and okay. bros and homies. Love is a universal feeling that comes in all shapes and sizes. He said bros and homies. What about what about the girls? What about the girls? Love is a universal feeling that comes in all shapes and sizes. But sometimes we're looking for an even closer connection. Something more intimate that even your homies can't provide you with. A romantical okay. connection. There we go. A love there so we go. deep you can start a tree with it with you and your partner. You see so those cute. romance movies and want something that they have in it. But the thing is, your riz is on the negatives. You afraid Damn. to talk to your POI in real life. You're just like me for real. So you look Damn. for love in other easier places like the internet. Downloading apps like Bumble and Farmers Only. Hope. And this is why e-sex is a thing. I just learned what that was this year. E-sex and e-dating. If you do any of those, please don't be in my community. Get get the fuck out. I'm out to teach y'all better. You don't need e-sex to pick up girls. It's weird. You fucking weird, bro. Downloading apps like Bumble and Farmers Only, hoping to find your true love. You swipe and swipe and swipe, but nobody want to match with your ugly ass. You're just like me for real. You start to lose <laughs> hope, but then you finally have a match. And this person is one of the most beautiful people you've ever seen. That's me, Chad. Like That's me. This woman has Lupani running for its money. You guys start Damn. chatting, finding out you two have so much in common. She oh likes the same movies as you, the same okay. music, food, likes, dislikes. She is you, but the yes. girl version, exactly what every guy wants. You guys yes. chat so much that you end up exchanging numbers, scheduling a call with her later tonight. The time comes and you start to get hype. After watching <laughs> some YouTube deep voice tutorials, you feel like you're ready for the call. <clears throat> Y'all want me to use my real voice? It's really my real voice, and I wanted to share with you guys today. That's how I be picking up all the ladies, for real, for real. Every time I use this voice, they love me. <clears throat> What's up, little mama? <clears throat> what you getting into tonight? <laughs> After watching some YouTube deep voice tutorials, you feel like you're ready for the call. You look at your phone. It's ringing. It's her. It's her. You pick it up and smoothly answer. What's up, little mama? Yo, what's up? Yeah! What's up, Boo Boo Bear? How you doing? What the fuck? Wh who is this? What you mean, who this? It's Jessica, the baddie you've been chatting with. Oh. Nigga, that sound like CJ the champ. What the fuck? Nigga, does that sound like CJ? I want to put my bottom dollar that that might be CJ. Are you on a degenerosity video? Yeah. Catfishing? Yeah. I knew that sexy voice anywhere, man. I fucking knew it was you. Hey, yo. What you mean, who this? It's Jessica, the baddie you've been chatting with. Oh man, your voice sound even sexier than I expected. Making me go crazy. Mmm. Hello? Uh, uh, uh. Sweetie Pie, you still there? <laughs> Baby, I can hear you breathing on the line, boo boo. Why? <laughs> you hang up immediately. Why is CJ so mad in everything he does? He always the typical black angry person, bro. His characters are always so angry. Hang up the goddamn phone. Oh, you hang up immediately. Who the hell is that? That ain't sound like a Jessica. That sounded like a Jermaine. What <laughs> happened? How could this be? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, my friend, but you've just been a victim of catfishing. <laughs> now, if you still don't really know what catfishing is, I, I literally just described it. Basically, you meet someone online, think they're cute and chill, then turns out when meeting them in person, in reality, they're Jabba the Hutt on the inside and out, having a completely uh -huh. different personality or sometimes even a completely different sex than the person you thought you were speaking to. In short, <clears throat> you got confronted. You just got played like a fiddle. And after a betrayal like this, you'd either never trust online dating again or take your problems to television to tell your story so others don't have to have the same experience as you. Because apparently the act of deceit happens a lot more than some might think. You see, some other words for catfishing is called lying about who you are. <laughs> That man said another word for catfishing and they gave us a whole phrase. Have y'all ever been catfished before? I wouldn't say I got catfished, but the pictures look better than the thing I saw in real life. And I will never forget that day. That's the day that I truly felt betrayed by pictures, bro. Like I just never looked at pictures the same, bro. I knew that filters be lying and these bitches can take photos at fucking angles. I couldn't even fathom. I saw that bitch in real life. I blocked her on the spot. Didn't even finish the date, bro. I just left. Lying about who you are. And we've been doing this 
exist since literally the beginning of time. Mussolini even tried catfishing as a German soldier so he could get past the Switzerland border. But then really? the partisans was like, hey, you, you ain't German. Musa, ain't that you? Yeah, you you almost got us there for a second, bro. You almost got us, bro. You almost had us, bro. Uh, all right. Face the wall. There are many ways catfishing can be interpreted, huh? but it's mainly used as a term for being fooled in online dating. And that's because of this dude. Neve, Scooby-Doo, and two other people, don't matter, created a documentary back in 2010 titled <laughs> okay. Catfish, describing the experience of Neve, who had an online relationship with a girl he met on Facebook, who turns out was catfishing him. Oh yeah, he was the original catfish. I forgot all about that. Now he's the face of catfishing. Not meaning he catfished somebody, but like he's the face of that like that whole term when you think of catfish you think of the show and and neve or nev i didn't know his name was neve whatever the fuck his name is it's a good thing he did get catfished that young lady changed his life she was so ugly that he made a documentary about how ugly she was and it changed his life that's a w fucking day bro the documentary got popular and he got his own tv show and blah blah blah, blah, blah. everybody already know this show yeah, would be yeah, one of yeah. the top shows for me whenever nothing was on cartoon network or disney channel and every episode of this show was a trip each episode about a person flirting to this person online and them talking with Neve trying to figure out if the person on the other end is really them and the entire episode you're on the edge of your seat curling your toes bouncing up and down excitedly True. to see the reveal cause you know yourself they ain't gonna be their picture they never are half the time they come out looking like the cart titan and this would be combined the funniest and also saddest thing i've ever seen sad because you know these people are looking for love they're looking for a connection whether that be online or in person they you know they're just trying to look for someone to love man and they get lied to like that bro that's just sad man and then sometimes there'd be these catfishes that i'd be like man you really got catfish like you know what'd be crazy the ones that be killing me is the person when they look good but they're looking for online love i'd be confused i'd be like why the fuck you gonna just go to a bar the fuck yo they be like some good looking people but you online looking for love the fuck going on through your head get your ass in the scene get in the mix god damn it go out there and get in the field bro get in the field i'll only watch those episodes because i'll be sitting there like damn i'll be understanding the ugly people looking for love and then the pictures be all cute people i'm like you know what that, that makes more sense than that cute person looking online and they looking for another cute person and they live like five states away and they go meet them and it's not the same person if you don't go to a starbucks and go get you a man bitch what the fuck you mean like what the fuck you really got catfish like that you really thought michelle obama was talking to you bro and even for <laughs> the ones that are actually the real person they're actually pretty wholesome i actually got nothing negative to say and after watching all this makes me realize dating is hard yeah. like you it is me Huh? What are we going to do for Valentine's? Or <laughs> did for Valentine's? <clears throat> you can hit my line anytime, degenerosity. I can make us a, like, you know, a schedule. We can go on like a picnic or something. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm alone for the 47th year in a row. I got no boot or feed chocolate to or read the Book of Mormon with. I got none of that. I got no hearts to get and I got no hearts to give. It's lonely. Sometimes a brother just need a hug. So I can I understand you. the venture off to online dating. I can understand that. I even tried it myself and not to brag, but I got at least two or three likes. And one okay. Of them was a dude. What? I know. It was me. <laughs> I mean, I said like woman on the profile, but like. Uh, I'm the dude. Man, they just trying to give me options at this point, man. It's okay, bro. I, I was losing myself, man. I was even considering watching that Coco Melon for losers, man. Thought it'd be something to relate to. Thank God I haven't <laughs> fallen that far off. Yet, I was down in the deep, dark crevices of the sunken place. Uh -huh. Except not really. Because at least the people that got in the sunken place got before they got down there. I can understand why people get catfish. We all want a special human connection with someone else that, that we can relate to, bro. Even if it's online, bro. Or sis, I don't know who's watching. That's why I can understand how some people could get catfish. Like, I feel bad for those guys, bro. I do. But that sadness only comes to an extent. You know, not, not gonna lie. I, I don't know how people get catfish in this modern day. Like, how is catfish still a thing? Like, the show ain't fake Wait, or anything. it still goes on? Like, her. Her right there. This is a great example I was talking about earlier. Get in the fucking field, bro. If you don't go to a damn bar or Starbucks and get you a nigga, she is not ugly. She's a perfectly normal looking person. I'm gonna watch this episode and I'm gonna tell y'all what really happened. And then sometimes in Catfish, they be dating people 30 minutes away and y'all been texting for six months and ain't meet up yet. That's not suspicious to you at all. Like, y'all be doing that shit. Oh my God. They're always busy. They don't ever want to get on the phone it's a fucking catfish you idiot there's so many ways this modern day to figure out somebody's catfishing you if you give catfish in 2024 
you're a dumbass. And there's no easy way of putting that. You're fucking stupid. You might be damn near retarded. I'm not gonna lie. Catfish still a thing. Like the show ain't fake or anything. I just thought people would be more skeptical when online dating now. If I'm online dating and I have the slightest ounce of suspicion that the person I'm talking to ain't who they are, I'm gonna immediately tell them, yo, let's FaceTime tonight. And if they exactly. say, nah, my dad's funeral today, bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Your real name, not Tanya. Your real name, Terrence. I should have oh. known this, bro. I can hear your Adam's apple on your voice memos, bro. I got a strike system when it comes to dating people online and finding out whether they're a catfish or not. And strike one is always if they like me or not. Like, what? You like me? <laughs> What's there like about me? My personality? Man, I know you lying. Second strike, never wanted to FaceTime. We already talked about it. Dead dad's funeral. That's got to be cat, bro. And I don't care if it isn't. FaceTime me. I want to see his body. And third and final strike <laughs> is if they never, ever, ever ever want to meet up like they always delay you two meeting up fighting you never want to meet up you don't want to facetime you. and you like me you must be neville from i carly bro i can see through you also the last thing i'll do if what i think i'm getting catfish is contact me Bro, like what? I ain't trying to let people find out that I got tricked to falling in love with 600 pounds Stephen Hawking. I'm taking me getting catfish to my grave. So I'm <laughs> damn sure not telling people that I got catfished by someone that I thought was Billy from Stranger Things. And I gave them $10,000 without even knowing if they really are them. Like how did why he used that example why he used a man as his example but earlier he want to talk about oh i got liked by a man which was me but now you want to play in my face do you like niggas or not I <laughs> this is gonna be a main channel vid bro I, I can't keep getting away with this bro and i gave them ten thousand dollars without even knowing if they really are them like how does that even happen don't be sending random people online your money none of us got that timu level of motion having five super bowl ads and shit. Unless you're giving money to me. They did? <laughs> you know, that, that's a different story. It's got me thinking how much bread catfish and low-key be po. Scamming a grandma out of a stack just because I said I'm Denzel, bro. That sh sound easy. I got to try that one day. But, but but kids, don't try that. That's messed up. Damn, I already ran out of shit to say. Yo, this writer's block got me on the chokehold, bro. I ain't gonna let that stop me, though. I guess all in all, catfishing is bad. Don't do it, bro. Unless you're catfishing pedals. Then, man, let me join in. In conclusion, what? I'm feeling lightheaded. Hold the fuck up. What the hell did he just say? I'm in the video there, bro. What the fuck?